hey and thank you for clicking play it's not take three honest um, i just want to very quickly show you today how i use amiga forever to test things in emulation but how i get stuff how i get files now from my pc file format into an emulated amiga because there's a cool feature in amiga forever for doing that and also how i use amiga explorer for also from cloanto the makers of amiga forever to then once i've got something that i want to copy onto an actual amiga yes if it's small enough i could do it onto an adf and use my gotek drive but um i've now got stuff also linked up for my a2500 for Amiga Explorer. So in the bottom left of the screen, you are seeing my PC, okay? And in the top right, you are seeing my Amiga 1200. Bit of an uncomfortable mouse lag when I do that because I'm going through capture, so bear with me today. And obviously, if you're not familiar, bottom right, that's me. Um, the thing hopefully moving in sync with the audio i will make things bigger and smaller who are misses um as we as we go through so that it's easier to see um yeah at one point i'm going to use the wrong mouse to show you something but whatever so first of all let's have a look at um what i'm doing in on my pc side so i'm going to turn off um oh before i do that i'll quickly show you around so Let's make that big and let's get rid of the that, the A1200. So is my gummins for my PC and my mouse that I'm using from PC. And then via RS2, the PC is a tower under the desk, okay? And then via RS2 through 2, there is my A1200 and the mouse for the A1200. So that's everything in play today. Um, I'll put a link in the description to linking up computers, P how I link up computers, PC, to Amiga using RS-232. Um, if you don't have a COM port on your PC, then you can use a USB adapter. There's sometimes issues with that, but again, that's all explained in the other video. And even though this is a fairly modern, so the Intel i5, the one that I'm using, my main computer, um, well, before I got the Mac, um, it had a COM header. So I've got a legit COM port that I'm using, which is, I love it. I don't have to go via a USB thingamajog. Right, let's put me in the corner. I'll probably get rid of me at some point. And let's make the PC bigger because I just want to show you. And I really get, got onto this when I did um, a, a Red Sector Demo Maker demo for one of the Perth Amiga user group meets. This is essentially part of my toolkit that I, that I use to get it ready. And I'm going to start off explaining what that is by jumping into Windows Explorer of all things. Anything you shouldn't be seeing there? Nope, I think we're all good. These are all files from one of my previous edits. So there we go. Okay, so um, if I go onto my, I believe it's my storage drive. Okay. Yes, you can see here a folder called PC to Amiga. Let's have a look at what's in that to give ourselves an idea of what I've been playing about with. Straight away, okay, you've got Outrun in there. Okay, you've got some LHA files and you've got all the files to make Outrun, previous video um, that I put up. Karma, I can't, Karma Geddon Splat Pack, what's that doing in there? Of LHA. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did test that. I'd forgotten I tested that. Okay, we'll have to have a look at that. So keep note, there's a folder in there called Karma and there's also a folder in there called Porg. Okay. And in Porg, okay, so this is where Photoshop, even to this day, supports Amiga IFF format. And there are some other graphics packages that I'm, I'm now learning also support Amiga IFF graphic format. So what we're looking at here is I did some um, photos, converted them on the PC into IFF so that I could then open them up in a package on an Amiga emulated or otherwise. So let's have a look at legends shall we um i will look at porg banner i just don't want to people's faces that might want to not be associated with my channel respect to that um, i'm sure they wouldn't mind but we'll just do it this way okay so this is opening in gimp because i've now ditched photoshop oh so gimp opens an iff see i didn't realize that 
but there is there, there is a there's an iff um converter as well um but anyway so there you go so that is that started off as a modern jpeg from a modern camera and now it's in amiga iff format so if i close that hopefully it hasn't saved any changes like you can see that's iff format i'm going to go into amiga forever and amiga forever comes with i've made a copy of it because I didn't want to wreck the original. But it comes with this Workbench 3.x. That's essentially, it will use whatever the power of your PC is to emulate an Amiga. It's not trying to emulate closely any particular Amiga. It is literally just the Amiga operating system running on an emulated Amiga of unspecified un, uh, power. Okay, so if I launch into that, that folder on my storage drive I've told this to view that as a drive for the Amiga. So when this boots up, here we go, PC to Amiga. And the exact same folders are here. So that space on my hard drive on my PC is literally shared between quite happily between Windows, the PC operating system, and the Amiga operating system for this or any other emulated Amiga, I choose to point at this as a hard drive file. That's seeing that as a hard drive image. And look, here are those same images here that we were just looking at. And let's find the Porg banner, because of course this isn't in alphabetical order. And execute. Nope, that's not what we do. Okay, I have to open an image viewer, first of all. Um, what have we got on here? We've got, here we go, P-Paint. So now if I open that, there we go, we'll go load image. Okay, and we'll go volumes, PC2 Amiga, Porg. Not tinkering, I didn't want tinkering. Where's Porg banner? Here we go. And proceed, proceed. Okay, and you can see that on an emulated Amiga. Now, if I copied that via ADF um, or any other way on an actual Amiga, I should be able to open that. In fact, we'll do that as an experiment shortly. Okay, so quit that. All good, all good. And that's how I got Outrun, this Outrun folder, onto my um, A1200 as well. I haven't tried Karma. I can't remember what the requirements are for this. I don't even remember. I don't know that I got that working. I don't think I did get it working. Um, that's a video for another day. I'm not going to waste it. I don't want to make this video longer than, than it needs to be. I'm getting distracted. Okay, so that's that. I love this, by the way, and I'm going to start using this more and more for some of the productive stuff that I want to do or, or another Amiga setup in Amiga Forever. Um just because it's such a cool way to work within the two systems. So just have a quick peek at how this works. If I go edit here, and then I think it's under media. Yeah, here we go. So you, this is where you set up your disks. You've got your DH, that's a boot, a bit, uh, your, your boot drive for your Amiga. There's a shared drive there as well. There's this built-in um, one as well. I don't know what that's for, um, but this is the one that I manually set up myself. So all I had to do was go add um, and I'll tell it that it's going to be a hard disk image file. And then I just tell it the location on my on my Windows PC that it's going to use for that for that hard drive. It's as easy as that as easy as that and that works really nicely because then I can test things. So keep it in mind. So outrun i tested it in here first made sure it worked and then copied those file structures directly onto my a1200 so let's have a look at that next so let's do this okay yeah what i'll do is this so let's come out of amiga forever and i'm going so there there's those files i'm going to go into amiga explorer now i've already got that open i'm going to close it and in fact, what I'll show you quickly is on the Amiga side. Let's just bring that up top. On the Amiga side, I've already configured and I've set up Amiga Explorer. So under Workbench, that screen's too far away for me. Um, under Workbench, I've now got Amiga Explorer. 
and it's currently running. So if I double click this, it will stop it running. But I just double click that to start it running. I could this add this into the startup of my Amiga um, so that it opens every time. I don't like using RAM that I'm not actively using. I don't think it takes up much, to be honest. In fact, I know it doesn't because it runs fine on a stock A500 with half a meg if you've got it. So, um, yep, so that's that. I do notice this crops my, is that the top of my window there? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, still, still got a ton of, still got a ton of memory available, to be honest. That's my chip, um, two gig, and this is um, 130, sorry, two meg and 130 meg um, fast. So there we go. Right. So with Amiga Explorer running on the Amiga, what I can now do and let's do a funky thing here. I'm going to, under work, I'm going to set up a new folder. New draw. And I'm going to call this Porg. Okay. There we go, you can see that there. Right, let's jump back to the PC. Okay, so on my PC, here's Porg, but I'm in Windows at the moment. So let's open Amiga Explorer. Now look at what you're viewing here. What you are viewing here, data, gaming, RAM disk, work, workbench, you're viewing the contents of the A1200, okay? So under work, there's that pork folder I just created. It's right there. So I'm viewing the contents of my Amiga's hard drive on my PC, which is freaking cool. So let's go back there. And so what I could do is under, under Windows here, I'm going to grab um, this Porg. So I'm going to just right click copy or I, I could do a drag and drop. It doesn't matter whatever you want to do. And I'm going to go back into work. And I'm going to go into Porg, which is empty at the moment. And I'm just going to paste that in there. Du, 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 du. And it will take a while. <laughs> do have to be aware of that. Um, I should have chosen a smaller image. Look, there's a sponsored by one there that's only 12 kilobytes. Why didn't I think of grabbing that? These are actually quite large because I only played with these ones in emulation. Um, yeah. Six minutes and 30 seconds. I don't want to have to do any editing. But. Oh, I can edit it once I upload to YouTube. There's going to be an edit here. Okay, uh, that's done. So um, I wasn't falling asleep on us. So on the Amiga, if I go into Porg now, and you saw me create this folder, you can't see anything. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. If I go view all files, there it is. There we go. We. I really didn't use Workbench that much back in the day and little things like that really do catch me out. The fact that you have to tell it that you want to see the files that are in the file. Of course you want to see the files. Why would you? Anyway, um, so there you go. So now if I go into, um, I must have a paint package on here somewhere. Art. There we go. What we got? Deluxe Paint. Let's try Deluxe Paint 5. Right, um, yep, yeah, we'll, we'll use that, that's fine. Right, we're in good old deluxe paint. And we'll go load. Um, we'll just cancel that, it's fine. Um, and we will go work, org, org banner. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> and 
Oh, here we go. Because there was a resolution change, my little adapter thing had a skit. It's a big file for an Amiga, this one. I probably should have, but I don't know where I put them. Um, some files that I did. These aren't the ones that I did for Red Sector Demo Maker. Those would have been a lot smaller. Can't load. Malformed amazing. So it, does, it doesn't like that. Oh, there we go. It can load it. It lied. It said it can't load it, and it actually can. So there we go. So that was that started off as a fo modern photo, modern JPEG, has been converted via Photoshop. Um, I mean, that's a high color depth for Amiga. Um, but I'm, I'm impressed, actually. This is my original, well, not my original, an, an original A1200. Um, yes, it's got an accelerator and a lot more RAM than you'd usually have. Um, but it's, it's opening that now that it's been converted to IFF. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to show you is just... Um, put my head cam back on um that's really all i wanted to sort of show you is how i use amiga forever first and foremost um to get files from my pc in a folder to being able to look at those same files from within an emulated amiga and once i'm happy with how stuff's at, at, acting there a really useful way of transferring across like i said you could use gotech the other method is obviously i could take the Amiga apart, pull the compact flash card out, put it in my PC, but actually I've not had much success with the compact flash reader in this PC, so I might need to get a different one, oh, but that, obviously that's another way you could go. But yeah, I like I like this workflow. It's not too bad at all. There we go. Don't know why I wanted to show you that. It's just another way to use Amiga Forever and Amiga Explorer, really. Thanks for watching. <laughs>